Hi, I'm Ben from Fully Charged and uh, we have Clement here from Moustache and uh, today we're going to review the Lundi um, and it's uh, the most iconic e-bike from Moustache and actually one of the most icon iconic e-bikes in the world I would say. It hasn't actually changed in nine years since Moustache started out in 2011 and uh, they have improved it bit by bit like integrating the cabling and stuff like that over the years but for me uh, it's like a kind of modern Pashley and it's like the most comfortable urban e-bike and it's a really clever design and, uh, and we absolutely love it here at Fully Charged, obviously being based in the heart of London. Um, we, um, it's been one of our most popular bikes over the years um, and, uh, and it's now got the new Bosch motor across the range and, um, and basically we're going to go into a bit more detail about why it's so great and uh, I know that um, over in France they're huge fans of, of, um, of this bike and can you tell me a little bit more and, and why? Yeah, um, the, yeah, first of all the, the, the design is really, uh, really unique uh, as you said it's, uh, it's a design that remained quite identical uh, to the, the, the first uh, model in, in back in 2011 as you say some, some small modification and upgrade uh, the main uh, principle of that bike was to have something which was really comfortable really easy to use, really accessible uh, so we've been working on, on, on several aspects to do that. Uh, first of all, uh, the frame is really unique, so that's uh, air. You have a, a triple cavity uh, tubing, so it's, uh, it looks like it's a normal rectangular uh, tube, but actually uh, it's like having three tubes in one, <laughs> in one, uh, one down tube, basically. So the, the main point of doing this um, is to have a good uh, riding ability, something mm. that remains really stable rigid, and really yeah. stiff and really rigid when you ride. But at the same time, uh, this specific design gives some little flex uh, mm. in, in, uh, in a vertical way. Uh, so you still have something that remains comfortable. Especially uh, with the fat francs. Who exactly. You've got loads of suspension. And, and you run these around 40 psi, so not like a traditional bike. You don't have to worry about road resistance and having the most minimal tire friction and, and wind resistance all of that stuff goes out of the window with an e-bike when you have a bosch motor powering you along you can have more comfort so the nice 40 psi loads of suspension in the tires and a, the most comfortable geometry and we'll get the bike down in a minute and show you how how we can fit on it and it's just it really is you're almost almost completely vertical while you're yep. riding it and the nice thing about that is you can you can really be seen in the city and and you can really see so when you're riding along and you've got like a car in front of you you can actually see over it to see if a car's pulling out in front of you and you can prepare if you're thinking of overtaking if there wasn't a cycle lane or whatever it may be you can really see everything that's going on when you're right up like on a horse kind mm -hmm. of style and, um, and 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 be seen as well people will see you when you're hunched over with dropper bars in the city you know, these people can't see you, and the car might pull out, and it's a, there's there's a huge safety element to being in that with that geometry. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's it's just a super practical bike and all round, and, and and I love the the cafe lock here as well, and it's just so convenient when you pull up outside a shop. Really solid, good quality metal stand that you can adjust yourself as well, so you can actually like adjust it so easily, and then just quickly locking it outside a shop bike slightly heavier than normal so you can literally just run in and run it's just it really is a, a, a super practical urban machine um, but yeah um, as you can see I'm very enthusiastic about <laughs> this, uh, this bike um, yeah, many, many, uh, as you say, many other future which were very really unique at that time and which are still very really unique. Uh, one of the distinctive uh, feature is that we use uh, aluminium uh, mudguards mm. front and rear, which are not actually just a single ply uh, aluminium tube, mm. but it's already a tubular uh, principle, so mm. really, really stiff, mm. really reliable, mm. uh, won't make any noise or mm. won't bend after and a few months of use. As well, color coded not this like shiny plastic that a lot of the other manufacturers choose to use mm. uh, and fully integrated with the cabling as yep. well so your rear light as you can see if we were to turn it on so you can see obviously just one press of a button and it's all completely integrated so no one's going to try and nick them they're always on you don't need to think about it and they look the part 
Yeah, so as you say, cable, so cable routing goes uh, inside the, 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 the mud guards. Mm. Cable routing goes inside the down tube. Yeah. So really clean, really aesthetic. Mm. Uh, the moustache in the bar, yeah. which you, you talked about a few seconds ago, mm. is, is really, really also distinctive to that bike. Mm. Uh, really upright position, mm. really cool uh, design and really unique uh, shape mm. because it's uh, stem and underbar all in one piece. Yeah. So it's, it's a really, really unique uh, also. Yeah, it really, you really get the smooth ride from that and that's all being part of one thing rather than so many different variables. But also the nice thing about the whole design is it's super clever because you can be five foot two or six foot two or anything in between and you all ride the same bike. So having one in the household where pretty much everyone can use it is just amazing. And that's great. Like we've seen a few hotels and stuff like that buy them because you know they don't need to have so many different sizes for so yeah it's a really clever unique design um and uh yeah. one important fact also the motor so mm. since the the very really beginning we've been mm. uh, working with bosch uh, mm. motor system and battery uh, so that's still the case today we strongly believe they are the the best uh, the best brand on the market right now uh, when it comes to performance but also service and mm. and, and long life let's yeah, say yeah, yeah. Uh, products um, so the the landy is using the the active line plus uh, engine uh, which is great because it's compact, mm. it's really, really smooth uh, mm. in terms of how it runs, uh, no drag, no resistance mm. at all uh, mm. when you go beyond 25k yeah. uh, speed uh, and yeah, dynamic uh, in terms of uh, energy, it's, it, the, the fact it's really smooth also, yeah. uh, you have a good, good uh, autonomy with the, the bike. Uh, and of course it comes with different uh, battery size depending on the model of the Landy. So yeah, and, uh, and another thing I'd say about the Bosch system is that it's how easy it is to actually change between the settings and, and view the screen and, and take the screen off when you get to where you're going. You can literally just take it off and pop it in your pocket and it's just so well designed and made and I would say that they are way ahead of the other uh, battery and motor manufacturers out there. Um, and uh, um, we, we love working with Bosch. We, mm -hmm. Our service centre, we're Bosch experts in, uh, in central London and we have a four bay workshop and these customers are bringing their bikes in like once a year on average for a service and it's just so quick and so easy and, and just you know plug it in, give it your report, what temperature your battery's been to, how many times you've charged it and it's just so easy um, and uh, yeah, we, we, we love working with Bosch and what we also do is we really respect the manufacturers that don't try and cater for every manufacturer because they're not really sure which one is the one to work with but Moustache have identified that Bosch is the market leader and they have chosen to only work with them. They don't produce any non-electric bikes and, and they've built their bikes from the ground up to be electric and that's one of the reasons why we love Moustache so much and why we're doing this review to share that mm. information with you. Um, so, this is the 26.2. Now, this is the most popular one in the range for us here in London. Um, and these come in at 2799. And um, it's got the Active Line Plus, uh, which has got 50 newton meters of torque. And this is kind of the one up from the entry level. And um, it's perfect for London. It will deal with pretty much any typical London hill, plus with a bit of load. So, if you had the moustache panniers on, you know, you could, you could deal with, with anything in, in London and most, most typical places in the UK. As soon as you get to very, very hilly areas, you know, and say for example, you were a heavier rider, then you would have to consider potentially the 26.3, which would have the performance motor, which is 62 newton meters of torque. So about 20% more power. Um, and um, ultimately the 26.2 is the one that tends to sell out because it's the most popular. And it's got the, um, the Enviolo hub, which some of you may know as Nuvinci. And it's a stepless gear system, a constant variable transmission. Mm. And it's extremely popular, very, very low maintenance, and very easy to use and very smooth. Mm. Um, anything you'd like to add yeah, to that? A good aspect about that, that uh, rear hub is that, again, uh, it's like service-free uh, kind mm. of uh, system and also it's it's really cool because you can stop at the at the crossroad mm. uh, you change gear and you can yeah. go straight away mm. without uh, worrying about having a derailleur uh, exactly you know, it's all internal so it's it's really easy to use and that's really intuitive I, I would say uh, so it's, it's really uh, it's, easy it's, it's fantastic because a lot of our customers are um, coming back into cycling or, or, or starting up cycling because they're just fed up of uh, you know the kind of urban 
misery of the rat race or whatever um, it may be. Um, but yeah, to, to, to have your brain trained to be able to click, 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 up, up, up and down all the time, is, you know, it comes as a bit of a, a skill over from cycling. And if you haven't done that, you don't necessarily need to because you've got modern gearing systems like this and you can just go from high to low at standstill. That's a really good point, especially in London, um, you know, where there's a lot of stop starting and stuff. Mm -hmm. But the other point is as well is, you know, there is a lot of stop starting. So, you know, going up through the gears and down again on, a, on an e-bike is, is great. The Enviolo system complements the Bosch drive and it just, they just go hand in hand seamlessly. Mm -hmm. and, and most people that come in that test ride the different options we've got, you know, 26.1, 2 and 3, will actually end up going for this. Although it's a little bit more expensive, in the long term, it's actually less expensive because you don't have to change your cassettes, your chains, uh, the chain as much. Um, but over a long period of time, say over you know, 2,000, 3,000 miles, you've gone through maybe two cassettes and two or three chains, whereas you'll probably just go through one chain and a good e-bike chain is you know, 40 or 60 pounds for a really top of the range one. That's it, that's gonna mm. be your servicing cost on, on, on gears, apart from you know, your, your brake pads, which are 20 quid, I mean, they're not expensive. Um, but yeah, it's a very, very low maintenance and low cost maintenance bike to, uh, to, to own, um, so yeah. One thing which is important also is that with the, the Bosch system is you have different mode of uh, assisting. Mm. Uh, so it's very simple to use again. Uh, you have the display which is here and then you have the remote control here mm. uh, to change yeah. the, the assistance. So of mm. course, uh, you have an off mode so you can yeah. ride, it still remains a bike. If you yeah. have no battery, let's say, you can yeah. still ride your bike. That's mm. one mm. thing which is important to notice. Mm. Uh, some people, they think, yeah, if I don't have a, any battery I'm stuck at uh, completely, mm. that's not the case. You know, that, that we are talking and, about and a it, bike and not a, a motorbike. Exactly, and uh, it also that will, that it will shut the motor off and still give you enough power to operate your lights. Yep. So if you do get caught in the dark, um, like Bosch, have, you know, with the experience they've got, they've thought of all of these things and it's, uh, it's super clever. And because of the, the new active line uh, system also, it's really fluid in mm. it. and even if the, the motor is off, yeah. it's still rides really mm. well anyway. Yeah. Uh, but then again, of course, you have echo mode, mm. uh, you have the tour mode, yeah. you have the sport mode and you have the turbo mode. Yeah. So you can really adjust to your needs and to your liking. If you want a, a pushy, a sporty, you can go for up to turbo. Yeah. Uh, if you want to save energy and, and do a longer ride, you can use the echo yeah. or maybe the tour uh, mode. And there's a great it's tool on the Bosch website called the Range Assistant. Yeah. And if you go onto that, you can put your weight and your tire style and how hilly your area is and how much stopping and starting, and it will give you really accurate ranges. But off, across the whole, I would say it's between 25 and 80 miles, depending on what settings and what yeah. conditions you're in. Um, but it's a, it's a really real-time, accurate system, and you can really check your range and adjust your mode if need be. Uh, so very rarely would one run mm. out of battery with a with a Bosch system like this. And and Bosch are, are really well known for being uh, battery specialists, mm. uh, as everybody knows. Mm. Uh, they, they they also do like other uh, mm. accessories tools and, and power yeah. tools that yeah. use batteries. So they have a really really strong experience in yeah. designing yeah. batteries, and mm. and that's really one of the strengths of that company is that Bosch uh, is both using uh, doing the motor and the battery all together years. as yeah. a system. Yeah. And, and because sometimes you have people mm. which are brand which are doing only the motor yeah. and they are, mm. are asking another supplier yeah. to do the battery to go with it. Uh, Bosch is doing everything uh, yeah. in the same house. So yeah. that, that makes a big difference. With in, in thousands and thousands of employees and teams and yeah, they really are. And uh, yeah, that, that makes a big difference in, in conception and performance of the, of the overall yeah. system, that, that's, that's for sure. So should we get this bike down quickly so yep. we can just see the geometry? And you can see that like, it's actually really easy to step through and then really nice upright geometry. And what's really nice, I'm, I'm six foot and half an inch and you know, you can be up to about 6'2 and down to about 5'2. What's the centimetre? Uh, 1 meter 59 up to 190, 1 meter 90 for the, the So, not knowing my exact <laughs> metric opposites, 
Um, I would say that's probably roughly what I've just said. Um, and but uh, that, that's basically that, that's due to the, 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 um, the C tube, which is quite uh, inclined yeah, compared so you to get a regular away, bike. Yeah, yeah. So that means that the, the higher you rise the seat post, the, the further away. The, the further away yeah. And plus, the, you're not so much doing this, you're more doing that, which is, yeah. which is really clever and, and really comfortable. And we genuinely have customers of those different sizes. Yeah. Um, sometimes you might need to take the, the seat post out, um, sorry, the suspension seat post out, which is a really nice feature. But if you're you know, 5'2", like a, a, a smaller rider, then you might have to sacrifice that as an option. Um, 26.1, Active Line Plus, standard nine speed derailleur yep. with a 400 watt hour battery. And that comes in at 2399 UK sterling. And then the 26.2 and the 26.3 are the same price at 2799 obviously the difference being is one has the um uh, enviolo gearing the 26.2 whereas the 26.3 has a 10 speed cassette and a performance motor but you can choose to upgrade the 26.3 to a 500 watt hour battery for 2899 so that's obviously if you're living in a very hilly area um, or you're a heavier rider, you might just want a little bit more, uh, well, 100 more watt hours just to give you a little bit more extra range in those hilly conditions. And the performance motor will um, drink the battery a little bit more than the active line, um, but, um, but there's not a huge amount in it. Um, and then obviously colors. Uh, you remember the colors off the top of your head? Mm -hmm. Yep. So, go on. Uh, so, uh, the, gray blue, blue. the gray blue like that. Yeah. Uh, we have um, the, the black. We have matte the, black. The matte black, yeah. yeah. We have the, the gray. Uh, Gunmetal gray. Gunmetal gray, Which sorry. is really nice. And yep. It's like kind of like a powder coated matte finish as well. It's really nice. Yeah. And then the light gray, which is like a kind of pale gray yeah, off yeah, white, yeah. which is gloss. Yeah. Burgundy. Does what it says on the on the package. Yeah, and the khaki. Um, and the khaki, which is really nice as yeah. well. Um, so yeah, they're um, and they're, all available on all three models. Yeah, oh. yeah, exactly. But you get lucky um, because as the season starts to come forward and and the weather gets better, there might not be all of the colours in all of the different models, especially the twenty six point two, which does tend to sell out completely. Uh, we carry a large amount of stock. Mm. Um, so get in touch um, all on our website. It should tell you which models are available in which colors. But get in touch and, um, and we, can, um, we can get you into test riding. We've always got all three on demo as well. So you can come in and try them anytime. And we do have some, uh, a really good hill locally to our, um, to our Bermondsey Street show. And we have a, an NCP car park that you can drive up the ramps if you want to feel what it's like on the hill. We also now have our Silverstone shop as well. Um, which is actually in the Silverstone racetrack, which is awesome, and you can go and try them out there. And, uh, and you can do overnight test rides, so you can come and actually try the bike and take it home and see if it really fits in with your commute. Um, but yeah, overall, fantastic bike, 10 out of 10. And uh, yeah, um, oh, there was two other things, wasn't there? The pannier <laughs> yep. um, and the lock options. So the pannier, uh, basically we, we have a, uh, a moustache uh, rear rack that we've been developing uh, with uh, aluminum tubing. So really reliable, really strong. Um, so you've, you've got the battery which is fitted actually nicely uh, within the, the, the rack. Uh, a large platform uh, so you can fit really easily uh, any child seat of the market. Almost yeah. all brands uh, fit perfectly on, yeah, on that. Yeah, lo loads of our customers actually that have these do have uh, school runs and stuff and, and they've put the Thule uh, Yet Maxi for example or the bow bike seats. Yeah. Uh, they're really popular and we can fit them here very easily. And uh, one also distinctive thing of course is the QL3 uh, slots here. So you can basically, uh, you can fit directly uh, mm. the moustache uh, rear pannier which is using all the, the same uh, the system release, yeah. from Ortlieb, the QL3. So basically you align the system and, and you lock. It's a great collaboration, actually. I personally use the moustache pannier because they don't sag. They've got a very nice hard back and they look slick when they're on. And they're just so easy to you know, take on and off when you just get to where you're going. You just pop it off like that. And it is really, really strong. I mean, you can almost like lift, 
lift the bike up with it. It's it's really really a great product. And that's one hundred percent waterproof. Which yeah, is heat sealed, key. heat sealed. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah. You can, laptops, cameras, yeah. whatever you want, and uh, no worries in torrential rain. You'll be fine. Um, and you've got the axle lock. So this is an upgrade for the cafe lock that's on the bike. So it's basically just like a fish eye with a chain, and you know you can have it in the pannier, for example, and you can just pop it in, and then a, your key which is key like for like, so the same key will lock your lock here and remove your battery if you want to charge it inside. And this obviously is just a pin that goes in. So it's very, very quick. I mean, they're only 20 pounds, um, but they're, um, it's just a nice bit of added security. But if you want really good security, the lock would recommend is actually the um, Avis Bordeaux 6500. Yeah. And it's a really fantastic lock. And basically what it does is it, it kind of turns out here. So it's like a, kind of like a D-lock in a way, but it's adjustable. Um, and, uh, and you can get it around slightly more complex situations like fences and drain pipes mm -hmm. that need a little bit of bending and stuff. Um, but it, it mounts really nicely onto the bike. So you get this wallet and then you can mount that into the bottle cage mount uh, if you want, which is actually under the bike here. And there's two pre-drilled holes in the frame. So it integrates really nicely and it's mm -hmm. always on the bike. Or alternatively, if you didn't want to have it there, you could have it here. You know, or you could put it in a pannier, but most of our customers with this style wallet will be going here and it's yep. really tidy and clean. And keep the weight low also, exactly. so it gives exactly. <coughs> better, better stability and better handling on the bike. And that's gold rated as well, so it'll be insurance approved. And if you want to see me uh, trying to cut through this, I went to the Avis uh, factory recently and did some tests. Uh, we've got another YouTube video <laughs> on our channel, uh, which you can watch that. Uh, it was quite fun. Um, but overall, Mustache Lindy is, you know, 10 out of 10. It's a fantastic bike. I think it will stay the same for many years to come. Um, and um, yeah, thanks for watching and um, feel free to watch our other reviews on the other Mustache 2020 bikes. <laughs>